Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 40. Today we're going to go over filtering WordPress menu classes. But before we get started, I'm going to ask you to sign up for the email list. I am starting to develop some new products again. I already have the one book out there called Becoming a WordPress Development Professional, and I'm going to start developing some other courses. So if you sign up for this list, you'll get some discounts on the courses, and I'm going to probably ask you a couple questions about the courses you want. I'm going to develop three or four um, synopsis for the courses and then I'll start on the one that the people in the email list want first. So if you want to have a say in that, sign up for the email list. That's all you're going to get. Discount as courses comes out and I'm going to ask you about the courses as they come out which ones you want. So our scenario today is that we have a site and we have menus. So this is just a standard menu. It's a bunch of pages I've put into the menu. You can see it says welcome, who we are, what we do, our portfolio, blog, career, contact, and you can tell that, the, that they're all pages. Now here's my issue. When I go to our portfolio, this is a page, and the way content is showing up here is I have two content areas. This is the left content area, which is just a tiny MCE editor, and we're using a short code to get our slideshow up there. And then on this side, I have three different short codes showing up the portfolio entries of our single custom post type, which you can see here. We have a single custom post type of portfolio. So the issue is when I go to a single entry, so this is for a client, my menu doesn't reflect the ancestry that we should see. You can see my breadcrumb does. It says home, our portfolio, international too. So that's great. But up here, our portfolio doesn't show highlighted white doesn't show that we are currently on a child of that. So what we need to do is we need to filter the classes that come through the WordPress nav menus. So I've already have this written, so I'm going to uncomment it. And what I'm doing is I'm adding a filter to the filter hook nav menu CSS class, and I'm calling menu classes. 10 is the priority, and 2 is the number of parameters I want to come through it. So the two parameters that come through this are classes, which is simply an array of the classes that are in the menu, and item. An item is actually a post object. Even in WordPress, all of the menus are technically post objects. So they are like a blog post or like a page. They're just a post type called menu. And they're a fairly custom one, but that is all they are. So we can use that to detect what we're doing. So let's take a look at those by calling Item PR is just a special wrapper for the a fairly standard print R function. And I'll refresh and we're going to get a post object. So you can see we have our post object, gives us our ID like normal, and then all the rest of it. The important part that we want to work worry about is the title. That's how we're going to target this to make sure that we are targeting the right menu item. And delete that. And when we come back, we're going to just walk through this function now. So you can see I've got a global of posts declared. Out of that, I'm going to get the post type and make sure that if we are on a portfolio, so that count as the single portfolio items, and if item, remember title, is our portfolio, which is the name of our menu item, I'm going to add to the classes. Now remember I said classes were an array, so we need to do classes, double square brackets, equals current page ancestor. Current page ancestor is simply a stock WordPress class. There's no point in getting fancy here. Don't add your own fancy CSS class that has nothing to do with anything else in WordPress. Just use current page ancestor here because that's what it is and that's what we're trying to represent. And then once we've added that, we're going to return classes. Let's save and we can refresh. And that's it. Now our portfolio is highlighted white to show that it is the ancestor of our current uh, portfolio entry. Thanks for watching.